All right. So this is the first spring of the Nightingale release. It was a little bit of an odd sprint because it spanned the a holiday break, and so there was some variable amount of time within it. Um, so let's uh, let's take a look at what was done on the various parts of the system uh, on a platform. Um, or is Ray coming? Do we do we know? Uh, this is this was Ray. Uh, so um, Ray um, added Sonar Cube um, uh, support for uh, Jenkins. Um, this was on the Linux Foundation servers. It's something that we've lost during the migration to Linux Foundation. Um, also, um, he set up a default set of rules in place, uh, but then uh, uh, we will have to prune some um, some additional uh, rules, which now currently report exorbitant amount of uh, uh, trivial technical debt. And so we're going to have to prune all of these things. Uh, but uh, a great uh, progress here is that Jenkins can now be used to uh, release builds for the last uh, four releases of um, actually well of Onos and the current master branch. So no longer the laptop uh, builds are going to be conducted. Um, and currently, um, Ray is working on migrating the. Uh, some of the buildable build collateral from Vichy onto Maven Central. This includes the Caraf binaries, um, uh, bug binaries, and uh, all, we will also move the release starboards there as well. Do you have anything to add to this? Uh, also working on building Docker images off of Jenkins. Okay. That should be done like today. So. Great. That's awesome. I think that's the, just the Jenkins build uh, and the moving the stuff off of which is, is great. Um, there were some fixes done. Do you want to cover these, Sir Jordan? Yeah, so yeah, during this sprint, I, I ended up doing just tons and tons of testing to try to stabilize the core. So fix some, uh, continuing to fix some issues with uh, various events, mastership events and device events and uh, link state changes. And that's just uh, improving, but there's still, still more work to do. And then simultaneously, I've gotten, we've gotten a bunch of new contributors to Atomics, which is really cool. So I've been working with them a lot, uh, getting new contributions to Atomics since we moved more of the code into Atomics. And uh, Still working on testing uh, the latest changes, and eventually we'll uh, upgrade to uh, Atomics 2.1, which is uh, we're just going to up upgrade the Raft implementation only, not really modify anything in Onos yet. But it's the latest version of Onos or Atomics that has uh, a lot of the uh, Onos primitives and things, which will eventually replace the primitives in Onos. All right. <clears throat> And then for ISSU, uh, there wasn't anything really done. We've had uh, our brigade members have been gone mostly, and so uh, nothing really for this sprint except that I wrote have been just improving some documentation. Okay, thank you. Um, but they haven't had any report from dynamic configuration, so I'm gonna skip that. I presume the team was on holidays. Um, on a P4 on time, uh, Carmelo said, you guys can to cover that? Yeah, so, um, <clears throat> Andrew, we, we're almost, I'm uh, most working on the uh, deploying the core part with P4 switches. So, uh, uh, Andrew, that was other guys. Uh, so, Carmelo is working on the serving packet gateway.p4 program. He's got a draft uh, going that allows him to test the GTP panel uh, and cap decap, except he needs to wait for the rest of the um, stack. So, there's a serving packet gateway control application that talks to Intel uh, and GIC. There is a problem there that needs to be resolved between the Intel uh, control app and the Onos app before they can come in the calls for uh, Carmelo to be able to fully set up the environment to test out the full program. And so we're waiting on that. We're hoping that can be finalized by the end of this week. Uh, and then the goal would be to have uh, something that we can uh, test with in terms of the people program by the end of next week. And then we're working with uh, the vendors to start incorporating their switches. So mid 
uh, month we're going to start getting switches from the other vendors to build into the fabric as my switches. Thank you. That's awesome. Um, no, no report from the GRPC brigade and the web UI. Um, I presume this was because Stephen was still on honeymoon over Christmas holidays. Um, so I, I think we can move on to the QA status. I think the microphone is right here. Okay. So for QA, um, first John, John's been working on ISSC testing and it's down. Um, so we also worked on uh, improvement to the Jenkins jobs we have for system testing. Um, then Devin is working with John Wang on the segment routing testing. And then working progress, we have, um, Devin is still working on make, uh, moving the common lines of code of Gen our Jenkins file to uh, a, a library. And then Jeremy is still working on refactoring Docker test, and uh, he is also working on a display of statistics of system tests, which gives uh, us more details of how maybe test results. Mm. And uh, next slide. Okay. So we have in this spring we have twelve uh, bugs, five and five. I'm oh, sorry, twelve resolved and five created, and uh, in total. 204 open bugs. Um, I think the, the high priority bugs, I want to talk about the first one, we probably need to accept this. So we, uh, we are seeing, we are getting a two to three milliseconds increase uh, in switch down latency, uh, which was about five milliseconds earlier, and now it's seven or eight. Uh, milliseconds. Uh, we probably need to accept this because of uh, uh, ensuring the correctness. So, and the others are the the old tickets from earlier spring. Um, I think of most of the HA related bugs we listed in the last spring review slides have been fixed. Um, not sure. Sure about the second, just to see this one. The, the flow rule issue is related to the, the new flow store. Since we are going back to the old store, it's on low, lower priority now. <coughs> yeah. Now, none of, the, none of the attempted fixes eliminated the two, the two to three milliseconds. So anytime we basically are engaged in shutdown now, it adds the, that's the latency to the failover. That will post. So the shutdown now? Yeah, shutdown now will, will add to and, and none of the variants of the fix no, will right. address it. Okay, interesting. All right, thanks. So, so do you propose that we leave the old fix in place? Just leave it? Yeah, that's a new fix for our stable. Okay, so I'll just to withdraw that draft. Okay. All right, so tomorrow we're going to have a, a planning for Sprint uh, 2. Uh, so I'm going to, this afternoon, I will create the sprints, close the old ones. Um, so please uh, prepare for planning sometimes tomorrow by adding workload to the, to the sprints for tomorrow's meeting. Uh, it'll be a three-week sprint. This time contiguous three weeks, so it should be hopefully easier to plan. All right. Anything else? I don't believe we had any demos lined up, so we can probably call it a day. All right. Thank you. Hi. Bye, Jordan. I just blew it.